Music for Worship here, welcoming you back to my channel. I I know week based off of my schedule, but there was certain that I don't want to get into, and frankly, uh, it's something that kind of took priority to recording videos. But I'm back here doing a not a vocal tutorial. But as you can see, because it's not in the typical setup they usually do, for one thing, I'm standing up. And the second thing is, is that I'm doing a music theory video. I haven't done those in a, long, in a while, so I just thought, why not just do that? That way it'll be, you know, it'll be a good learning experience for you guys. It's not only just learning music and singing, but also learning the technicalities and learning the language of music. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the circle of fifths. Now, the circle of fifths is, a, is an interesting little piece of music theory that kind of dictates where, whenever, a, whenever a scale has sharps or flats. Now, I'm going to draw a picture of a piano which is which is why I'm going to be switching screens to so that way you can see what we're talking about with regards to the music theory. Now, or rather the circle of fifths, but it's the same thing to some extent. All right, so now let's go into the whiteboard so that that way you can actually see exactly where I'm going with this. So we have here the whiteboard, and what I'm going to do is a poorly designed piano. So I apologize in advance for all artists out there that know how to draw, well, musical artists, not musical visual artists that can draw pianos beautifully. I apologize. It's not the best, but that's but my goal is not to show you how much of an artist I am because this is a music-based video. All right, so we got the piano right here. We got this keyboard. Like I said, so we have there's the keyboard right there. And now I'm going to draw the notes. So we have so we have this So we are, so we have these notes which I wish I was closer to the the thing but it's not Like I said, this is a poorly drawn piano, so I apologize for all artists out there. And also, just letting you know, that I know the keys are black and I'm, I have a blue marker. I have a blue marker here, so work with me here. So as you can see, I am drawing a piano. And like I said, I'm sorry for all artists. I'm going to keep emphasizing that. Now, 
Like I said, I apologize to all music artists. A pointer. Yes, I do. <laughs> all right. So, you have here the piano. Now, when we're talking about the circle of fifths, we're referring to the to all all scales and whether or not they have sharps or flats in them now if you saw one of my previous videos you learned a little bit about the C major chord the C major scale actually and the C major scale is a scale that is that is very it's basically it's basically the most basic scale you can have and the reason why is because it only has white keys so as you can see here this here would be the C major scale and the C major scale is basically C D E F G A B C so it's basically all of the letters in the music alphabet with regards to putting them in a specific order. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C again. Now, how do, now, we want to know what is the next scale that we're going to reach before we get into a point where we will start incorporating these black slash blue keys. And that's what the circle of fifths is for. The circle of fifths is basically a, a tool or something to be able to tell you when is the next scale, what scale will have a, an increase in one of these notes. And what I mean by that is, is that there's some scales that will have multiple, will have multiple black keys, but I'm referring to when the notes are sharped. Now, the reason why I'm saying sharped is because you're bringing up one of these white notes into a black note. And that is the point of, uh, of the main point of circle of fists is just to be an, it's an indicator. So now we have this and we want to know we have the next, we'll have one of these black keys. And the way that we figure that out is, is that, well, the answer is pretty much given to you. Listen to what listen to the answer. Circle of fifths. The way that you figure that out is you count up within the scale until you reach the fifth note in the scale. So we will count and we will say the letter. And know that the next, the next, the fifth note in the scale will have one sharp in its scale. So basically, what I'm saying is, is whatever the fifth note is, that scale, based off of that note, will have one sharp. Because right now, because right now, C, C major. has zero sharps. Major has, sorry, one. And that's what we're trying to figure out. What major scale has one? And that's what the circle of fifths gives you. It tells you where you go to get to the next one. 
So to go to the next one, you count up five until you get to the fifth. And you do include the original, the main note. So in other words, you don't just go one, two. You count from the beginning position because that is number one in the scale. So let's start counting until we reach the fifth note. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the letters, and then I want you to see where I'm going with this. So we got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Now, we will also write the sharps on the top. I'm hoping you can see that. We got C sharp. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So we got D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. Let me see if I could at least increase it just a little. There you go. So now you could see, now you could see everything. Excuse me. So we're going to try this again. And then this is, we are going to check and see. Which one, let me reactivate this, sorry. So now we're going to check to see which note has one sharp. As we count, one, two, three, four, five. So you point, we point it to the G. So that means if we played out the G major scale, you will see a sharp in the scale. Now, here's where we're going to get, this is, here's where it gets interesting. How do we know what note gets sharped? Now, for you to be able to know that, you also got to refer to the circle of fourths. And this is something that I noticed is, to me, it helps out with knowing what note gets sharped. So, you ever heard of the phrase, sometimes to, to move forward, you got to look back? That's where we're going to, that's what we're going to use. Now, the circle of fifths is also known as the circle of fourths. And the reason why is because sharps are not the only notes that these black notes represent. And what they also represent are flats. And I'm going to write the flat sign on this side over here. So the flat sign, it looks like that. <clears throat> and that sort of rhymes. So this is a flat note. <clears throat> now I'm not going to explain how do you convert this into flats yet. But the way that we know how what note oh, I forgot to write the G <clears throat> on this. So we have G major as has what? Now, how do we know what we how what do we know what note gets sharped? That is actually two ways of figuring this out. The first one, which is the easier way, is actually to is to actually go a whole step before the 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 note that you're referring to. And 
And so if G, right here, if G is is the if the g is the one that has one so we go a whole step before which is two semitones or two half steps so we go from here to here and then to here so that means that f will be risen will be raised from f to f sharp and that is how you figure out the easy way. The hard way is using a circle of fourths. Now, you're going to get into the same way. I'm just saying just choose the way that works for you. So, in this case, <clears throat> way that you figure out what note gets sharped in the circle of fourths is to count up to four. <clears throat> Remember how we counted up to three? And we went to the next scale <clears throat> up. Now, when you count four, you're actually going to the next scale down. Now, so when you see, when you see this, see, so count up to four. One, two, three, four. And now we reached F again. <clears throat> Now, I'm not telling you what F brings just yet. I'm going to do it in the next video. But just know, when you count up to four from this, the note becomes the sharp note of the fifth. Now, remember how we said that we could count down by focusing on the fourth note? We can actually see that that's true. Because we can use this piano to show you this, the G major scale, well, most of it. So for the G major scale, we're going G, A, B, C, D, E. Now we're going to start from E, and then F sharp, and then G again. Now if you count four from G... So we got one, two, three, four. Look at what note we just landed on. We landed on C major. Now C major means that that is going to be subtract. We're going to do some math. So when we count up to four, what we do is we subtract one and we see one take away one simple math any second grader would know this but one take away one equals zero so that means that we're back to the c major scale in this in this example now when we're referring to the the next scale up we gotta again count five and we move up now, remember what I told you about flats. I guess I can't do it in this video because I already brought it up. So, flats are kind of like the negative numbers of music theory. Because when we get into 1, 2, 3, 4, we go to F. Now, you notice that C is, is basically zero so zero minus one is minus one so now we have negative one sharps in this in this example in this scale so that means that f will have a negative one sharp or if we convert our, that negative one into a more pleasant knee in a more pleasant manner we will get into flats. But I'm not telling you what note gets flatted. That I will save for the next video. Now, just know that you that some of some scales are not gonna have a prettier system as I'm showing you. Some 
of these notes will have more complicated situations, but I won't get into them now. So I think that'll be it. I will see you in the next video when we will talk more about flats and I will elaborate more on the sharps. So this is Music for Worship. Hope this helps you. Take care and God bless you. And bye-bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel by following the circle in the middle, and you know what to do. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.